Hey guys, I'm Ben, and welcome back to Let's Rebuild The Sims 4 base game, where I rebuild every single home and community lot in The Sims 4 and make over every single family. Last time, we toured our rebuild of the Blue Velvet, and today we are touring in our rebuild of Municipal Muses. At Municipal Muses, guests can tour exhibits exploring Willow Creek's history and culture, explore the submarine of the legendary Princess Cordelia at our greatest exhibit, view her greatest works in our art gallery. Municipal Muses is the perfect place to stargaze or even host events. Our art traits are natural light, great acoustics, and homey. So for the museum, I honestly started out with, uh, right, let's choose who we're going to tour with first. So we're touring with the BFF household because I really like them. But back to Municipal Muses, I decided to focus it on Princess Cordelia because she is probably everyone's like favorite because of like the lore surrounding her. Like that's really the only like major part of the lore that we have in The Sims 4 in comparison with everyone else who doesn't really have a lore. And honestly, I'm living for Princess Cordelia. She is such a good character, and she's so interesting too. So I had to make this, I had to make this museum based off of her, especially since it's called Municipal Muses, which basically means that it's like inspired by like political stuff. I don't really know exactly like what it's like meant to mean, but it's like municipal like has to do with like politics and stuff, and and muses has to be like. I, like an inspiration of some sort so like princess cordelia is like like a political figure who's like like made like a name for herself in the world and i think that she's really really cool so so here we are at municipal muses and this is the perfect place to just go and hang out and sort of just enjoy uh, the exhibits and stuff. So here's like the building. I want to make sure it's like good for like the thumbnail and all that. <laughs> but yeah. So as we enter here, excuse me. When we enter here, we see yeah, a statue of her butler. Of Prince Cordelia's butler, we see like a welcome desk. We have like the spa here where people can eat and hang out. And then here is our main exhibits. This is like, I, these are like exhibits of like Princess Cordelia's like submarine. Like we have her like bedroom here with all of her furniture, and then we have like her bathroom. Like she even has a couch in there, you know. Like she's a princess, so of course she has to have one. We even have like a piano, which is probably played by like one of her beloved jazz musicians. We have like a nice dining room with like, I use like almost everything from like the Queen Anne series, especially if it's like used, if it mentioned like Princess Cordelia or one of her boyfriends, I'm 100% putting her there. We even have like a bust of her that like Summer is looking at right here. So if we go up to the second floor, we can see our, our, out, sorry, our art gallery. We have some easels for people who want to paint here. I might add like a couple things, things to like make it more like an art studio. Like we have Princess Cordelia's art studio. Like we have some furniture that she made. Like I might put this particular like the easel stuff here, and maybe even like this, like easel holder like over there, for people to use. Uh, we also have her kitchen and dining room. Like we have like her. Her big dining room down there, but like her small dining room and main kitchen is here. We have some nice statues, some art, you know. So this is like so showcasing some of her greatest works as well. And like we can see all the stuff. Like she's really, she was really into music. And I feel like she would really enjoy going to like the Blue Velvet because of all the music. And she probably likes Blue a lot because of her love of the ocean. So if we go up to our top floor, we can see like this like little dining area. We have a kitchen here. We have all these like plants that are showcased here. We have Chaz looking at the wheelbarrow. Everyone looks at this wheelbarrow for some reason and it's weird, but whatever. Like people don't really like do anything at museums other than look at stuff. 
and then we have this bush for people who want to trim it and all that like it's just a good place to like host events like you could cook food here you can have people like hang out here and like sit by the fountain and one interesting thing about like cordelia's backstory is that like her second boyfriend was named like chaz mcfreeling so that's why i had to bring chaz mcfreely here because of the similar name i mean that has to be a reference right like we even have like a balcony i didn't show over here or where you can like go and play chess like we had like this like sort of balcony area here in the original but i just sort of just like made it a bit more modern looking it's much more it's a very different color too but i really like the wood though because it looks more like I don't know, kind of, it's meant to look a bit more like the pirate ship or something. And we have like a small garden here for people who want to like grow flowers and stuff. We have the wedding arch here for people who want to get married. I mean, this place is pretty good for like anyone who would want to go hang out. Like we have like a bunch of nature stuff for like our nature focused sims. We have like art stuff. Like we even have this art studio. Like this is where I plan to have the art club meet. Like, after I, I, like, download Get Together and stuff. But, I mean, that stuff's expensive, so. We even have, like, this huge telescope here, you know. Uh, and, it's, like, there's just so much, like, to do. Like, we have, we can, like, host events outside right, for our wedding. And I honestly really like it. We can even, like, do woodworking like Princess Cordelia did. I honestly think it's pretty cool. I like this venue a lot looks really nice. I wish that like museums could like have more stuff to do there. Like I, I I'm have I have the base game so I'm pretty limited on my items and stuff, but I do wish that there was like more you could do at a museum other than look at things. But I do really like the idea of sort of just oh I forgot to look at this part. Alright, we have like like this exhibit of like her living room here. I didn't I added this sort of like last minute, I mean not last minute, but I added this like last because I wasn't really expecting to put it here until I found all of her living room items and I was like I have to like build a living room for her, you know, and I really like it, I think it's good. Like We have this kitchen here, it's pretty similar to the one in the blue velvet, except that's more, it looks more like, uh, has the Queen Anne style. Like there's a lot of like Queen Anne style stuff in the blue velvet, but that's but it's like exclusively made to just be blue and not really like it's not really meant to focus on like the Queen Anne style. So you have the girls bathroom, which also has a couch and then the boys bathroom, which is much smaller, you know, but it's OK. They have a plant here. And yeah, that's sort of just the museum I made. The last the original museum didn't really have that much in it, you know, like. Like, it didn't even have, like, a bar or anything, you know? Even, like, they even have, like, pre-made museums with, like, at least a bar inside. I'd, but, like, Municipal Muses, the original, did not have, like, anything to do there other than look at stuff. So, you know. But I think this is good. This is good for art sims who need to, like, improve their aspiration. Because they need to be, like, at an art gallery in order to view stuff. So I think this is a good place for people to uh, do that. Like, this is why, I think this is why I'm making this place the art club meeting place, so that they can hang out here. I also really like all these plants here. I do wish there was sort of a bigger variety, but I mean, they obviously have much more stuff in, like, outside base game, so that's a, that's fine. But yeah, I really do like this. I'm really glad that I decided to, like, make these Princess Cordelia exhibits, because I feel like, like that's something people would love to see, you know? Uh, one last thing I want to do is like maybe I should put the put like art stuff here before I show it on the gallery. Like I'll just put like a stack of canvases like I don't know right here I guess. Uh, no, I don't know. You can probably put that there if you want, but I honestly feel like it's probably better to not do this. It's like let's just leave it like that way and and just enjoy the way this looks i really do like the way it looks it's like really really nice i like can see like i really do like the windows here just because of the fact that they look like a submarine window you would have in princess cordelia's boat but yeah
I do wish there was more of a way to like add intrigue to the back here, but I think that's just because like I don't have the IV from like the expansion packs yet. I hope I can get like enough stuff to put here later on because I was thinking of like once I get like get to work, I'm gonna have like like a photo s I'm gonna be able to like put a photo studio around here, but I don't really know if I'll be able to fit one here. I don't know. You could probably do that yourself if you really wanted to. But yeah, I thought it would be nice to have like multiple like wedding venues for like different people of like different hobbies. Like if you don't want to go to like the huge mainstream one, you can go this to this more quaint one, you know, where you won't have like a bunch of kids screaming here. Like I, I don't really have a lot of like kid venues, but next time I'm when I start on the library, which is what's next, I'm gonna like scale it down and then like add like a kids area because that's where I want like to have kids there. Or like when you want to bring your toddlers there and I, I definitely want to do that for the gym as well you know like these two buildings the velvet the blue velvet and municipal muses are definitely more adult focused you know like this isn't really like a place where you'd bring your kids like I mean you could have a more kid focused museum and I feel like that'd be good but I feel like you don't really have a lot of kids here there aren't really like a lot of kids in like this town but I mean like I have enough of stuff I have enough stuff for them to hang out in so I think that's good but that aside uh if you made it this far thanks for watching and see you next time for rebuilding the Willow Creek archive